Well, on that theme of healthy foods, you've identified some autophagy activating foods you recommend consuming, and you write about this in your book. So would you like to offer some examples and the benefits of eating them? Yeah. So there are, uh, so usually autophagy is activated by intermittent fasting or exercises or, you know, deliberate heat exposure or cold exposure. But there are some foods which can activate autophagy too, which are foods like coffee, green tea, natto, miso, you know, broccoli, olive oil, ginger, and, and there are quite a few of them. Yeah. And then among those, I think coffee and green teas are the most critical because you can consume them during your fasting window. Yeah. So when you practice intermittent fasting, uh, only beverages you can drink are non-caloric beverages. So water or black coffee or green tea without putting any sugar or milk or anything. Yeah. And so when you intake coffee or green tea during your fast, then that can kind of prolong your autophagy activating period. Yeah. But other food, basically you're eating. So when you eat, you break your fast. So it probably doesn't have as strong effect as, you know, coffee or green tea, but mm-hmm. still, and the other foods are good. And then they have other nutritional benefit as well. I mean, all those food such as natto, miso, broccoli, you know, ginger have so many other health benefits. So they're good to eat anyway. Yes. I'm a big fan of miso. I, I generally drink that every day and uh, yeah. kind of follow your rustic miso approach and have a lot of vegetables in in my soup. So I was putting oh, lentils yeah. oh, and sweet potato and broccoli and, and cauliflower <laughs> in my soup, soup last night, which wouldn't be a typical miso soup, would it? So you can play around um, with your foods and make them yeah, really interesting and tasty. 